Hello everyone. So I just wanted to come on really quick and talk about the intention of the channel and also how to book a personal reading, how to book the rituals that I perform. So the vibe of the channel is a healing vibe. It's a healing message. I try to incorporate my coaching certificate in with my messages, asking a lot of questions, challenging you to do certain things. That way you can find the answer within yourself. I feel like that helps the messages to resonate a little bit deeper. So if you enjoy the messages, how I interpret the cards, you are always welcome to subscribe, always welcome to follow along. For information on the events that I attend, I do personal readings in person. I attend events currently. I do events across Washington and Oregon. I'm hoping by next year to be able to reach out to travel to more areas. But if you're interested in receiving an in-person reading, make sure to follow Facebook and Instagram. It's all under a healer's message. Okay. Now, how to book a personal reading, how to book the rituals that I offer. If you email me at a healer's message at gmail.com, you will receive a message with a menu in it, or I will ask you questions if you're specifically asking about tarot readings. That way we can figure out what spread is going to best suit the information that you're trying to receive. I offer general readings. I offer love readings. I do full moon readings. I do new moon readings, new things coming in. So there are de several different options when it comes to that. Make sure to email me again, a healer's message at gmail.com, and we can discuss any in person, over the phone, video chat readings, as well as any of the rituals that I offer. All right, guys, I feel like I'm getting to the three minutes. So thank you guys again for all the love and the support. If you enjoy these messages, you want longer messages, I do upload longer videos on YouTube. So feel free to follow along over there. Thank you guys again for all the love and support, for liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste. Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Pisces full moon energy reading for this upcoming full moon. Now, if you find the message is helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Pisces, and see what you need to release to this upcoming full moon. Most important message here for Pisces, Spirit, what do my Piscean friends need to know? What do they need to see through this upcoming full moon? Please and thank you. The energy surrounding you, Pisces, the Knight of Pentacles. The challenge is the Seven of Pentacles. How to transmute the energy is the Seven of Cups. The outcome, if action is taken, is the Two of Swords. And the outcome, if no action is taken, is Ace of Pentacles in the reversed Pisces. And this has been coming out quite often in your reading. I feel like you are involved in like this third party dynamic where, and some of you may even be aware of this, where you have options, your person has options, but it's like you're waiting for one person. You have your whole life on pause because you are loyal to one person here with the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. But what is coming out here, Pisces, is this person isn't so loyal to you. And I feel here there is going to be missed opportunities if you aren't able to close out this chapter and focus on Pisces. Now, I do feel like this has been coming out for some time, okay, in your messages. 
And it's like you have your whole life unpaused and maybe this person has told you that this is going to work, that I'm going to leave her for you, that I'm just trying to find a way to say this and all of these things. This person is lying. Just going to say that. It's time to start taking the steps to heal from this Pisces. And I feel like you know this because this is no longer working. It's like you're getting impatient. You're tired of waiting. And honestly, the message is very clear. It's like you could do bad all by yourself. You don't need somebody to help you struggle in life, right? So you're ready to take off. You're ready to be independent. Maybe keep this as friends until they figure it out. And this person wants to keep you on hold. They're making it not easy for you to walk away. Seven of Cups, how to transmute this energy. Start exploring your options, Pisces. You see, when you're open to new experiences, more new things will come in. Here's the best explanation that I can give, okay? If you have your life on pause, on hold for this person, and let's say you meet somebody at the burger joint or the coffee shop, okay? And let's say this new person comes into your life in that means, by that way. And they come up to you and they're trying to introduce themselves and maybe they try to buy you your coffee or pay for your lunch. And if you are waiting on hold for this person, like you guys are going to be married and this is your person, think about it. When that person comes up and tries to pay for your lunch, if you're loyal to this person, you're going to tell that other person no. Hence, not being open to new opportunities. And, and don't get me wrong. You should be loyal in a relationship. Yes, by all means, you should be loyal in a relationship. That is an attribute that you should carry. But you should not be loyal to somebody who isn't loyal to you. And I feel like that's a hard lesson that you're learning at this time, Pisces. It's like there has to be equal give and take, reciprocity in order for a relationship to work. If you're giving, 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 this person's taking, 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 it's creating ener energetic blockages within yourself. You have a possibility for new blessings to come in that are in alignment with what it is that you want your life to look like. Why hold space for somebody who isn't showing up? This person keeps you caught up in conflict, keeps you caught up in competition because they know that you will stay around. You will not leave this person if they somehow keep you energetically attached to them, even if it's a negative means. Now, seven of swords, you see. I told you this person wasn't being honest and you are going to get more of that if you don't take action, Pisces, and you're the one that has to make this decision. I can't force you. I'm just the messenger. I just come in and bring the message. I just tell you the information that you need to hear, ask you the questions that need to be asked to start your mind working, to start your brain jogging, to start you to question the validity of other people's words. Now, I know this person has probably said some really nice things, and those things sound really great, but that's all they are. They're just words. This person is not taking action towards that. So if you're still wanting to wait for this person, put a time limit on it. If this person is willing to show up and they're ready, then they are going to take action. They're not going to want to lose you. If you put a time limit on it and they don't show up in that amount of time, then you're not waiting forever. So at the very least, put a time limit on it. But the message is very clear here, Pisces. You have already learned the, the lesson you needed to learn with this person. The message has already been received, okay? For a lot of you, this person is keeping you around because they like having that validation, okay? But that's stopping you from living your life and having this beautiful future that you desire. 
So why not accept strength energy, accept this is no longer working. So you can start taking action in moving forward. So Pisces strength in this deck is similar to strength energy in tarot. It's acceptance. It's shadow work. It's accepting the things that are no longer working in your life so you can start taking action to resolve. And I feel like that's exactly what's coming out here in your message, Pisces. This person has been holding you back for long enough. Even if you just take some time by yourself to heal yourself and don't rush into another relationship, it's better to be alone than to be involved with a person who isn't respecting you and your energy, your space, and your time. So Pisces, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this full moon reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.